welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already i post every day except for tuesday and friday afternoon sometimes and i'm sorry i sound weird my nose has a little bit of sniffles right now not sure why but today in this video I'm going to do my top five things you should never do at a garage sale or do to things that are put out for free. So this is a video all about garage sale etiquette and what not to do. And I hope you guys find it helpful and I hope you learn how to behave whenever you're at a garage sale. Should we take pieces out of things like puzzles, games, or sports tables like a foosball table? You never want to do that just because if you lose the pieces, then how is the person going to sell it or give it away for free? It's just never a good thing because it's never good to have an item that um, doesn't have all the pieces or if someone tries to buy an item that doesn't have all the pieces, it's just a waste of their money. So be considerate not to lose any pieces. Is I understand sometimes people drop pieces by accident, but don't take something and throw it on the ground or or um, throw it somewhere on purpose because it's just rude and you're going to make it harder for someone to get rid of something. So I have a story about how somebody took a foosball from my foosball table and threw it in the creek. And if you want to see that story, I'll link it down below if you didn't see. See, and it was a story about how I was getting rid of a foosball table for free and this kid was not thinking, had no respect, and threw the foosball from the foosball table into the creek. So if you didn't see that story, it'll be linked in the description box down below. <laughs> Number two on my list would have to be break valuable things like vases or china. You never want to break any vases or china at a garage sale because you don't want, um, because you don't want them to to um break because you don't want anybody stepping on glass you don't want any kids around glass and it's just not a good thing to break any glass items when you're at a um when you're at a garage sale because then they can't sell it and then it could probably like end up in somebody's foot or someone else's dog's foot so just keep in mind not to break anything at garage sales at all oh like vases or any kind of glass or china we take things without paying for them, for them unless they're just put out for free so that's the only the only time you get something for free is somebody just throws it away out for for free you just don't take anything at a garage sale and just walk off and not pay for it that's never okay because you're stealing and somebody's trying to sell things to make money so money or get rid of stuff so just keep in mind that when you're at a garage sale um, make sure you always have money on you so you can pay for whatever you want to buy at the garage sale. Don't just take it for free because then the person can't make any money. So what's the point of having a garage sale if they're not going to make any money? Number four on my list would have to be play tag near the garage sale. This is super important. You never want to play tag, let your kids play tag near a garage sale because what if they run into things or trip over things that are on the ground? Because people sometimes put stuff on the ground and you just don't want your kid running into a busy street. You don't want your kid running into a street. It's just never a safe thing to do. To do. So keep in mind that if you ki your kids want to play, um, make sure they're playing in your backyard. Don't let them play out front when you have a bunch of stuff out for the garage sale because you just don't want them running around or if you're going into someone else's yard, you're getting something from a garage sale. Just don't let your kids, don't let your kids run around someone else's yard and then ruin other people's stuff. It's just never a polite. <laughs> Number five on my list would have to be fight over things. You never want to fight over things at a garage sale with other people because I understand if there's just one thing and you really want it and someone else wants the same thing. Just um, maybe you could try to like bargain or something, but don't fight over the thing or get into a physical fight over the one thing that is at a garage sale. It's just not appropriate. And plus, you can probably end up breaking something that is made of glass that you really want or if you break it or you can't, you just don't want to fight over something with another person 
person, it's just not appropriate to do at a garage sale. So those are the top five things you should never do at a garage sale. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post that video except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.